What is up everybody? My name is Richard Carbajal and I am a future DTM just like yourself and I want to welcome you to the DTM classroom. Not sure why I call, I'm call. i calling this the DTM classroom. It's actually my sister's pre-K pre -K classroom but said what the heck? Why not? <laughs> right? But I want to get into some house rules before I go into the content. First, if you want to practice your numbers, we have a beautiful chart here. It's 1 through 100. Do that at your own time, not right now. But I really want you to focus on our monster manners. All right? And this little monster here has something important to say, which is do not. I repeat, do not interrupt when someone else is speaking. As Toastmasters, we've heard that before. But as you're watching this video, I just need you to stay in your seat. Do not fiddle around with your phone. Do not check Facebook, do not check your emails, and do not feed your children if they're hungry. Nah, I'm just playing. If they're hungry, make sure you feed them. I don't want them to collapse and be mad at me, right? <laughs> but anyway, so the content that I wanted to share is that I went to this a sponsor and mentor training this past week where I found out something really important about mentorship. I believe Giovanna De Tori already mentioned this in one of her videos or two or three not sure how many but it's really important right so let's get into the content first we all want to get our advanced leader silver or most of us right in this legacy program that we're in and one of the things that we need to do is we either need to become a club sponsor mentor or coach right and each one has its own duties and dates are really important in each category as well so I need you to pay attention. And so since we're gonna be focused on mentor, I'm gonna go into sponsor first, then coach, and we'll finish off with mentorship, all right? So first, sponsor. So in order to be a club sponsor, we need uh, at least two people, right, to be sponsors. We have two, uh, we get lead. So it's basically, you know, you need to get a lead, either a corporate lead or a community lead, of someone wanting to look into the Toastmasters curriculum or you need to have an idea for a club. This could be an advanced club or a specialty club of some sort, right? In order for it to charter, it needs at least 20 members. 20 members at least to charter, all right? And this is not gonna include the sponsors and mentors. That's 20 in addition. Overall, TI, I think, does not want the sponsors or mentors to join the club, but if it's an advanced club, you, you know, obviously you can as a sponsor, but it would be after it charters, right? And these, this needs to be chartered by June 30th, 2020. This is the easiest way. It could be the quickest way to get credit, but it also can take time depending on the club, right? And how many members and if it's a specialty one and finding the right people, right? So you need to be mindful of this. Let's jump down to coach. So to be a club coach, it's usually just you. You need a club with at least eight members, which most of the clubs will have eight members. Doesn't It will have eight members in the books. Doesn't exactly mean that there'll be eight members going to the meetings, all right? There's a difference. So you have to check by, uh, most likely if they're still around, June of uh, 2019 of this year, they had eight members, uh, but they can't have no more than 10 or 12. Not sure the exact number, but there's a 10 or 12 limit for them to be considered a struggling club, which most likely both, either 10 or 12, will be considered a struggling club. Most likely 10, but anyway, it's your duty as a club coach to help this club get to distinguished or better. How do you do that? Help them get a net gain, a net gain of five members, right? Plus help them get their educationals. I believe five educationals, including you know, their net gain of five, so if they ended 2019 with eight members, they need to end June 30th, 2020 with 13 members, all right? That's five more. So if you help them get five, but they lose a few, you need to help them get those ones lost as well, all right? And then you obviously need the educationals. But what's cool, if you are playing the coach, April 30th, 2020, that's our last cutoff date for dues. So you could be able to qualify for your DTM if you go to coach and you help the club get to distinguish by April 30th simply because that's where our club dues. But 
you will have up to June 30th, 2020, right, to complete this. Coach, the one thing I will add, all right, is if you plan to be a coach, keep in mind also as a second choice sponsorship because sometimes as because coach what will happen is at times you won't make it right you might be a few members short or a few uh, educational short right but if you have as a second you know as plan b oh you know what i'm looking into a club contacting people or whatnot you know, you want to have that in mind just in case you're not able to pull it off because it has happened. People sign up for coach, club doesn't hit distinguish, and guess what? They're back to square one. And if you're in this mastermind, you won't have another chance, really. This is the last year, June 30th, 2020, to make this happen. All right? What else do I have here? All right, so that's with coach. So let's get into mentor. All right? So once the club is sponsored, Usually, there'll be two mentors assigned to the club, and what you're going to serve as is a guide to the club for at least six months. Six months it's required by Toastmasters International, and this is where you need to pay attention if you're planning to be a mentor. All right, that means that by January 1st, 2020, you need to be assigned to a club. Doesn't exactly mean that the first meeting is January 1st, right? But it has to be in January of some sort. But you have to be assigned to this club already, right? This club has to be formed. Uh, it has to be sponsored already. And so I, here I put by December 2019, that's exact. That's really when you want to be assigned to the club in December 2019. No later than that. You could be assigned next week. You could be assigned next month, right? Which will be better for you and it'll give you enough time to cover these six months. So for example, if it's chartered in February or March, there's no use for you to be, I mean, I would say, yeah, if you wanna be a mentor, cool. If you wanna get the credit, you'll most likely get the credit in the Pathways program. But for this legacy program, if you're gonna use mentorship, then by January 1st, 2020 is when you really wanna have or be assigned to this club or else you're not gonna get credit. Then you, as, as I mentioned with the coach, you want to be looking at sponsorship as well. All right. Overall, I do hope this was really useful to you. I know Giovanna mentioned it in several videos as well. You could probably backtrack to that. If you want to get more videos or more trainings, you want me to go more in depth into sponsorship coach, or even if you want to reach out about mentorship, I'm not the pro, but I do have some answers. And... I do have some hashtags here. So if you do hashtag replay, if you're watching this on replay, please uh, hashtag that. And if you want me to create more videos to help you out, please uh, comment hashtag superfan, all right? Hashtag superfan. That way our mastermind, where are they? Um, I don't know. Our, well, Giovanna Dettori or those that are in charge of mastermind group know that hey richard's phenomenal richard's cool this guy we need this guy more and more training videos you know <laughs> but yeah just hashtag super fan and i do hope that you got some value from this before we close we'll check on our little master manners one more we want you to say please thank you and you're welcome so you're welcome for this video as you're saying yes, thank you, whatnot. Hopefully it was of value to you and I'll catch you later in the next video. All right, bye-bye.